Growing up, I've always been a big fan of uh, hip hop music, R&B music. I also had some family members that were musicians as well, and um, an uncle Archie Roach, who's a famous musician, and also another uncle Johnny Lovett, who was a famous uh, country wrestling singer. And, um, yeah, that music's always been a big part you know, in my family growing up, but um, I haven't got a musical bone in my body, so I uh, know nothing about music and can't sing, can't dance. But um, yeah, just love love music, love listening to it. But, yeah, where I am now today, where I'm running my own record label. Yeah, I, I never thought that was going to happen. We started the record label in 2008. I was playing at Essendon at the time and you know, I was doing this on my days off. I had a profile so I wanted to be able to use that and, and when we first set up Payback Records that was always our sort of, our thing was it was always it was set up for young Indigenous people to give them a voice through hip-hop music and if you listen to Indigenous hip-hop it's about family, it's about culture, it's about you know, some of the issues that Indigenous people face growing up which are different to non-Indigenous people in this country and it's always been my vision is to be able to promote Indigenous culture to the world and like I've had uh, my artists support uh, Akon, 50 Cent, um, Snoop Dogg, Bone Fugs and Harmony, you know, all these massive international um, artists and, and we've met them all and, and the message that you know, I've been given from them is you know, you've got to come over the States, you've got to come over the States and that's something that you know, I've been sort of working on and, and hopefully want to do this year again in October where I can take my artists over there and do some Indigenous hip hop showcases in New York and LA. This Hood's uh, Mariki Hood, she's been with the label since day one and been working on her album for the last sort of few months and she's worked really hard with her music. Music's always been there for me when everything else hasn't, so Nathan's helped a lot. Um, he was there through the creative side for the past couple of years. He's definitely been a big mentor. My album comes out May 31st. I'm very optimistic. Look to the sky and hope for the best. Proudest moment um, was probably our record label launch that we did in 2008. It was my first ever event that I put on and you know, it was just a full house and all the payback artists got to perform to you know, be able to pull something off like that, sort of knowing nothing um, about the music industry, you know, it was something that I was really proud of. You know, I set up the record label six years ago, you know, coming out of contract and not knowing when when football was going to be finished. So like I've always been prepared for life after football and for this sort of moment I guess and um, you know, it hasn't been easy but um, you know, there's been, been some challenges and um, but you know, I guess that's how you learn you know, from your mistakes and uh, something that I've sort of been doing along the way.